Tonight at 11, Campaign Central set up in Doral tonight, as many expected former President Donald Trump to announce Marco Rubio as his running mate. And while that did not happen, plenty of other things did, including people fainting from the heat. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones joins us live from Doral with a look at everything that went down. Chelsea? Yeah, and you mentioned it being Campaign Central. Right now in Doral, you wouldn't be able to tell that anything happened here. But if you just take a look over my shoulder here where the porter parties are, that's actually where people entered to get to the golf course where everything was held today. And like you mentioned, there was no official announcement as to who the VP pick might be, though there were hints. And supporters were hoping to get a clue as to who that might be. Former President Trump did spend time taking aim at the current VP. But Joe and Kamala are simply carrying on with business as usual, holding fundraisers, taking afternoon naps. Thousands packed the 10th hole on the Blue Monster course at Trump's Doral Golf man. Course. This and this is his home state that he promotes, so we love him here. A course from which the former president would ask for a debate rematch with President Joe Biden. Let's do another debate this week so that sleepy Joe Biden can prove to everyone all over the world that he has what it takes to be president. Touches on the issues that really hit the heart of voters, middle-class America, workers, students, uh, lower taxes, less government regulation, smaller government. Trump touched on exactly what he said he would, how he would lower taxes, keep the retirement age the same, leave Social Security untouched, and stop the war in Russia and Ukraine. Schools, another big topic, Trump vowing not to support schools with vaccine or mask mandates, and keep women and men's sports separate. But a big talker, a running mate. He did just say on Hannity that it might be before the RNC, so yeah. fingers crossed. I think they probably think I'm going to be announcing that Marco is going to be vice president. I don't know. Because that's a lot of press. Senator Marco Rubio, one of a few on a VP pick shortlist, that includes JD Vance, Doug Burgum, and Tim Scott. And in the debate, Sleepy Joe also declared that he wanted to test his skills and stamina against mine on the golf course. Can you believe this? President Biden not spared the attacks from the podium as questions of his mental stability continue to mount. It's very exciting. It's always important to celebrate our great honor that we have and privilege to vote. Be informed. So the RNC kicks off Monday in Milwaukee, and Trump did allude last night that he might make that announcement before then. It might happen after then. But as we've been saying today, he could say it at any point. We'll keep our eye on it and keep you updated as we learn more as to who he will pick to stand beside him on the ticket. For now, we are live in Doral. I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.